everybody so I am back to do another video for you guys and I'm actually gonna be doing my April favorites yes my April favorites oh my god so anyways um, I am going to tell you guys about a little bit about the products that I've been using a lot and that I really like lately and excuse the noise in the background the girls are cleaning their room and junior is so needy right now so anyway let's just get to it I'm gonna go ahead and start I'm start off with my non beauty makeup stuff and I've been using a lot lately my Neutrogena makeup remover and let me tell you guys this is amazing I used one whole little towel for my whole face and I will be doing a video on how I remove my makeup since a lot of people ask me and yes so this is what I've been lately so I'm gonna put this in my number one list because I must must have this I was hoping that they would have some like at Sam's Club or Costco where they would have like you know big pack of them I don't know if they have them but I haven't seen them any but yeah so this one is like my favorite right now that I am using a lot. um my other favorite that I'm using right now and this one is already um, makeup related is the banana powder I can't find the cab because I moved my room around but this is the banana powder. This one was given to me by somebody on Instagram. And at first, I didn't like how it was looking on me. Kind of looked ashy on me. And I'm actually wearing it now. I don't know how you guys are seeing it in the camera. But in the viewfinder, I see that it looks fine. Like, maybe, like, because of the lighting. But it looks like I'm wearing too much blush. But, anyways. Um, the banana powder, I use it for highlighting. And you can hear Junior fighting with the ball over there. But I'm using the banana powder for highlighting for like under my eyes, like on top of my um, cheekbones. And the way that I use it, I'm going to go right ahead and show you guys my other favorite item. And I know I had this in last month, I believe. This is the London Soho New York. It's that beauty sponge. And for some reason, you guys, let me tell you guys something. I purchased my first one at Walgreens. And... The ones that I purchased online on eBay, they're so different, but they're the same, I don't know how to explain it, same same look and everything, but the type of the sponge is different. I don't know if it's because this one's coming from China, I don't, I don't know if they all come from China, but the one I bought at Walgreens and is this one, it's already dirty and used. I used it, so that's why I want to show you guys this dirty one, but this one works really good. If they come from like the same company or whatever, or you know. But I see that the ones that I purchased on DV work a little bit better. Don't absorb so much product and the water. This one does actually absorb all the makeup and the water. I feel like I use a little bit more makeup with this one than when I usually use the ones that I bought on eBay. I just recently threw away the one from eBay, the one that I got. So I'm using this one still because this one's still good. I don't want to, you know, waste and throw it away. So I don't want to open a new one and when I still have this one. I usually throw these away when they're really ripped. If you can see, I kind of had put already my nails in. Every time I do it, I just put my nail in and I rip it by accident. But yeah, so I'm really liking this. And what I'm doing is I usually put these, um, I squeeze them and I put water in it and then I squeeze it out. Let it absorb the water and then I squeeze it again so the water comes out. So what I do is I go ahead and I'm going to show you guys how messy that I am. I apply a little bit of the banana powder on something because the cap I can't find it. So I put it here on top of my compact from Bitch Lab Cosmetics. And what I do is I apply some of it with the wet sponge and then I apply under my eyes to highlight my Cupid's bow, my chin, and my forehead. That's what I do with this one when it's wet. I, I feel like it works better, the banana powder, when I'm using it with the sponge wet. So I am using these. Did I just spray some on me? I'm putting these in my favorites, and I've been using these a lot lately, and I am loving the results and how it looks. So, yeah. So my next product that I am going to talk to you guys about is... I know everybody knows about these products, but a lot of people ask me questions so much about it. And so I use them all the time. So I wanted to add them so I can talk about them also. But I do use them all the time. So we all know about these NYX Jumbo Pencils right here. And I've only, well not only, but I mostly see everybody use 
the one from the milk and the one in black bean this one is in black bean and this one is in milk I mean you can use all, um, all these in there's a bunch of them they come with different colors you guys and I use, usually see people use them in the waterline or as a base I use them as for my waterline I like to use them because they go on really nice and smooth and you know you sharpen them you can depot them and everything I mean you can search for videos on how to do all that I honestly don't go through all that hassle about you know depotting them I just keep them in their pencil because it's easier for me to use them so I wanted to put um, put these on my top favorites because you know I use them all the time in my videos and I get asked the most questions on what are they where do I get them from how do you use them where do you get them and I got these at Sears and I think they were two dollars I'm not sure I don't remember but yeah so they were at the Sears so I don't know if you guys have one of those near you and you can get those there um, my next product and that I use and I am been loving I'm going to share with you guys my top favorite lipsticks that I've been using lately um, if you guys follow me on Instagram and Facebook when I post pictures up you guys notice that I'm always wearing a nude nude pink lipstick or something like that so I wanted to share with you guys my recent favorite lipsticks that I've been using a lot lately and I get asked a lot I actually forgot to put two of them here but you know I'll tell you guys the names of it anyways. So the first one that I'm going to tell you guys, this one wasn't from one of the collections. And this one is the one in Salou from MAC. And it looks like this. I actually got two of them. But one melted when it was really hot. I think it was last... I don't know. I think it was last year. A couple of months ago. I don't know. Whatever. And melted. So it got really nasty. So this is like this one and the other one I just have a little bit left. So this one is my favorite. This one was from the whatever collection I don't really follow the collections I hope you guys can see that I doubt it because this looks blurry to me too so this one is from the whatever collection and I went ahead when I went I wasn't planning on getting it but when I went to the store I asked if they had it and yep they had it so I took the last two I believe so then from there um this one is called Innocence Beware. It's a cream sheen. And this one is from the Villains Collection. This was like sold two years ago. And I got this lipstick and an orangey one that my daughter actually ruined and wrote on the wall with. So I ended up with no orange lipstick. But I have this one. And it looks like this. I really like the packaging of it. And this is the one that I'm actually wearing now. Um... I usually wear this kind of lipstick when I'm not wearing, like, I'm not wearing, like, too much dramatic makeup. And this is the one that I love and I keep with me. And, you know, I usually carry this with me. I try not to use it so much because since it's almost almost gone and they don't have this anymore, it's going to be hard for me to find. So if you guys know any dupes for this one, I would really appreciate it if you guys leave it down below. And then from there... I'm going to share with you guys this one is Glaze Beauty this is from another collection also and this is like a pinkish color also you guys can see that um, it's a cream sheen also so yeah um, when I went to the store they only had two left and I told the girl give them to me now so I got both of them, so I have another one, but I usually, usually every time there's a collection coming out, since ever, whatever happened to me with this one about the orange one, I, if I'm going to get a lipstick that is special, you know, like a collection they're not going to have anymore, I go right ahead and get two of them, because I just want to make sure that I have a backup, you know what I mean? So from there, I went, and I also got another one from Viva Glam, Nikki number two. And this was the one that I wore the other day on my video and I got asked so many questions about it. I believe you can still purchase this one at your Mac store or whatever. You guys can get that. I have one only from this one because they told me they were going to have it anyway. So I didn't see the point of me getting another one. So yeah. And then from there this one is a drugstore one. And this one is from Revlon and it's the number 668 Prime Rose. Let's see if you guys can see the name another pinkish color if you guys can see that I'm really into that pinkish 
nude colors for some reason. I don't know. And then the other one was Skin From Bits Up Cosmetics. And a lot of people have been telling me they can't find that on the website. And I will try to contact and find out if they will have it up for you guys. Because that's my all-time favorite lipstick. And then the other lipstick that is my favorite is the one from MAC. And it's Myth. So, you know, a lot of people know already that lipstick. I've always been wearing those lipsticks. So, I've been asked for, you know, a video for that. So, I wanted to show you guys. And they're in my favorites because I've been wearing those on and off on my lips for the last month. And then from there, I am going to go ahead and I am going to share with you guys. I actually went to MAC and I went to go get that Pro Long Wear Concealer. And this is what it looks like. I really, really love this concealer. And I got an NC30. I just needed something that was going to help me highlight and bring out my eyes and make them look awake. I don't really have dark circles, but, you know, I really, really wanted something, you know, just to highlight and bring out so my eyes can look I'm awake. So, I just wanted to share with you guys that. It, this one is $18, I believe. And I, like I said, this is the NC30 and it's my favorite. We like it. It does increase on me. I applied this. And then I go ahead and apply my banana powder just to set it. So very good combination with these two. And I really love them. Then from there, I'm going to share another MAC product that I recently started using. I started using Dip Down Fluid Line for my brows. And as you guys can see, this is the one. Dip Down. A lot of people suggested me to try that one. And I went ahead and I got it myself and I am loving it. It's the one that I have in my brows right now if you guys can see. And it looks like that. It's like a dark brown. Really like it. So I've been using that on my brows. Um, and I don't remember how much this one is. But this is lately a lot of people have noticed a difference on my brows and they like it. And they all wanted to know. I've been using this one in my brow bar from Whitening Lightning. I... Don't remember, I have to look for it in my box because I don't remember where I put it since I moved my room around, if you guys can't tell. But I'll put the link for that on the bottom part also so you guys can go ahead and check that out. Then from there I am going to share with you guys, and I'm kind of upset because I was looking for my nail polish that I'm wearing now. Since a lot of people have been asking me about that. And I can't find it. I took it with me to the nail place to get my nails done and I can't find it anywhere. I have no idea where it is. I might have left it. So, anyways, the name of the, the nail polish is from OPI and it's called um, My Vampire is Buff. I've been loving that nail polish and I've been using it a lot. So, this is one of the nail the colors that I'm in love with right now. And then the other one is from OPI and this one is Mod About You. It's a nude pink also. I guess I like the nude colors, light colors, because they make my hands look whiter for some reason. I don't know. But this is the one that I'm, I ordered this one from Amazon. But I just found a beauty supply that's near my home that actually sells OPI nail polishes. So every time they get a new collection or something, I'm able to go to their store and get it. And then the other one is from L'Oreal. And this one I did have to order it from Amazon also. And this one is called Penthouse Pink. And every time I wear these nail polishes, a lot of people ask me for the names or where to get it. That. I'll still put the name on the bottom bar so you guys can, you know, know what products I actually named on the video so I don't get asked a million times. And then another one, well, not another nail polish, but this one I've been using. It's a pigment from MAC. And this one is a, it's in Melon. And it looks like this. And this is actually the one that I started kind of using to highlight, you know, so my favorites. I've had this one for a while now. You can see that how much I've been using it a lot. I've got it since I, when I used to work at Macy's and Lancome. This is my favorite. So then I want to go ahead and go with the brushes that I've been loving a lot lately. And you guys know that I recently purchased the Real Techniques brushes, and a lot of people gave me their feedback and everything. So right now, the most brush that I've been using from all the brushes. And I am not going to lie to you guys, but I've only been using like two, two or three, I believe. Three. Three, three. The other one, I don't know where I put it. But anyways, 
the most one that I've been using a lot lately is this brush right here. And this one is a contour brush. It's supposed to be a contour brush, but I don't use it as a contour brush for some reason. I don't like how it applies it on my cheekbone for some reason. On my contour part. So what I do is I actually use this as a blush brush. Because the actual blush brush, I don't feel like it's doing anything for me. So I started using this one and I really like it because it actually deposits the product right where I want it and then I was using this one it is called a setting brush and I use one side to apply concealer and the other side to apply the powder just to set it wherever I want it to so anyways I want to thank you guys again for watching and I really hope you guys enjoyed this little quick little you know April's favorites I don't really have a much a lot since I use everything over and over again and if I do like something, I just keep using it and, you know. But anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And stay tuned because I have more videos for you guys to come. So, love you guys. Bye.